Winston? Winston? Come back with that leg of lamb. I had some delicious Finn and Haddie smoked haddock arrive at my Eating Royally kitchen in Dallas this week. It came from Stonington Seafoods in Maine, where Richard Penfold up there makes the most amazing smoked haddock. And I knew that I had to make some Cullen Skink. Cullen Skink is a thick Scottish soup made of smoked haddock, Finn and Haddie, potatoes and onions, and gets its name from a small fishing village called Cullen in the northeast of Scotland. To make the soup, we start by chopping the onions. I want a nice fine dice on this one. And then I'm going to saute the onions in the butter. It's got to be really low and slow. A little salt in there too to help draw the moisture out and we want to cook the onions until they're nice and soft and translucent, but no color. While the onions are sautéing, I'm going to cut the potatoes and I just want tiny little bite-sized pieces. This is a rustic dish. This is an old Scottish housewife dish that dates back hundreds of years. And so we don't have to make a fine brunoise, that's the fine dice thing. Take the potatoes, peel them. I always think they're better peeled and then just cut them into little pieces like this. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. Once I've cut the potatoes though, I'm going to leave them out of the water. That way the starch that's around them, that'll help thicken the soup. Add the butter and stir it until it melts. Don't let it go golden brown though. We don't want that nutty flavor overpowering the smokiness of the fish. Once it starts to soften and melt, then we can add the onion. Now lower the heat because, again, we're cooking this without color. There's no rush on this dish. The end result will be worth the wait, I promise. A little salt in there too because salt draws the moisture out of the onions and helps soften them and stop them from going brown and nasty. Don't put too much salt in though because the fish is quite salty anyway. Just let those simmer away until they're nice and soft. Once the onions are softened, then you can add the milk. I like to use raw milk. I love the color of it. I love the flavor, the creaminess. It just takes my color and skink to the next level. But if you don't have raw milk, you can use the regular milk, pasteurized. Bring the milk to a simmer. Once it comes to the simmer, then we add the fish and then cook that until, uh, well, until it just starts to flake. It takes about four minutes with the lid on. Bring the milk to a simmer and then we can add the fish. It needs to go in skin side down, and then we can put a lid on the top. We're gonna to let it simmer for about four minutes. After that, we'll take it off and let it sit in the milk for a couple of minutes, just to finish cooking. After two or three minutes of resting in the milk, take the lid off carefully. Oh, it smells amazing. And then lift out the fish. It doesn't matter if it breaks up, we're gonna flake it anyway. We'll let the fish cool down so that we can flake it. And now turn on the heat again. Add the potatoes into the milk. And we're going to let them simmer away until they're nice and tender. While the potatoes are cooking and the fish has cooled down a little, I can start flaking it. Just make sure we don't add that skin in there. The skin's given us the gorgeous flavor into the milk. We just want chunky pieces of fish. I've seen Michelin star chefs, TV chefs, make the delicious soup, adding leeks, garlic, fennel, shallots, Jerusalem artichokes, fish broth, noily prat. I've seen them using Arbro smokies and smoked salmon and many other smoked white fish as well. But why? There's an American saying that goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, this ain't broke. Cullen skink is a traditional Scottish dish that's been around for hundreds of years and there's no need to add this or add that to it. I mean, in Italy, you don't see, you don't see the chefs there making a caprese salad and saying, hmm, let's slice some radish into that. No, 
you've got beautiful ingredients. You just put them together and make an incredible dish. We don't need to boil the potatoes with the skins on and then, oh, because that intensifies the flavor and then peel them and then put, forget that. We're not on MasterChef. We're just making a gorgeous soup. Once the potatoes are tender, then I'm going to take about a third of the soup and put it in the blender. Now, for me, this varies through the seasons. In the, in the summer, I like the soup, the cullum skink, to be nice and, and light and, and, you know, just almost watery. But in the winter, the cold weather, imagine the cold of Scotland, those Scottish winters where you go inside and, and your face is red. That's when I like it much thicker. So I'll take more of the potato mix and blend it and that thickens the soup more. Pureeing the potatoes and the onions helps to thicken it and then I can add it back into the soup. And now to adjust the seasoning. I'm gonna put some salt in there, but remember the fish is salty. So a little salt, some black pepper, and stir those together. Then I'm going to add my fish. And then test the seasoning. A Little more salt. I love the little spots of black pepper in there. You can use white pepper if you want to, but I just think it looks so pretty in the dish. And finally, well, almost, some cream and stir that in. Oh, this smells so good. Once you're happy with the seasoning, it's ready to serve. Delicious smoked haddock, creamiest potatoes, little cream, milk. We finish this with some flat leaf parsley. Absolutely gorgeous. Smoked haddock, starchy potatoes, milk, cream, just rich and comforting. Absolutely gorgeous, cullen skink. And then finish with some flat leaf parsley. Smokier than American chowder, heartier than a classical French bisque. Done right, Cullen Skink is one of the world's finest seafood soups. Cullen Skink, Cullen, after the little northeast fishing port of Scotland, Skink, Scottish for soup. Absolutely amazing. Mm. I've attached a link below for Stonington Seafood. You can order your Finn and Haddie. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. See you again soon. So cream.